guys. So uh, I'm just waiting for Walsh. Oh my God, again, seriously? Sounds, sounds familiar. Doesn't matter if it's electronic or in person, am I right? Do I text her? Walsh! Hey! Hi, guys! Hi! hi. What's going on? Wait, Walsh, uh, are you in a gown? Uh, what? Me? In I mean, like, I'm in a Hawaiian t-shirt, you know. No, I mean, uh, you know what, guys, I, I'm gonna be right back, okay? Okay. Just one minute, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, I'm back. Thanks, guys. Oh, that's all. <laughs> all right. All right. And now yeah. on to the awards. And I will be starting with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Choosing the recipient for the Lifetime Achievement Award out of the class of 2020 was arguably the hardest it has ever been. This class is so multi-talented, so cohesive, and filled with so many people deserving to be recognized for their efforts and abilities. However, one had to be chosen, and so we looked at everything. Our recipient has been heavily involved in all four years of their classroom productions and the musical. They are a prominent member of Acting Out. They have represented our department in Skills USA competed both in the state and national levels for thespian, and they were a thespian board member for two years, all while averaging a 98 in drama all four years. In addition, they were always willing to put in the extra work to stay late and to show up early. Most importantly, the winner is a true team player, while also continually putting the team on her back and carrying them when they need to go in order to excel and doing it all with enthusiasm and joy and not even realizing how talented and how needed she is. We are confident this young woman is going to go very far in life and we will miss her presence dearly. The recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award is Miss Kendall DeVeckis. Congratulations, Kendall. And now on to Miss Palomo for the Golden Wrench. I will be announcing the Golden Wrench Award. This award is extremely special to, to us. The first recipient of this award, um, Anthony Nicoletto, uh, was a student that always jumped in, was very excited to work, was extremely motivated, and really fun to work with. Um, Anthony was the first recipient and from the time that Anthony passed away until today we continue to try to find a student who not only shows the same enthusiasm and passion but is just an overall amazing person to work with. In talking to Miss Kay and to Miss Walsh and myself um, we came up with the following um, description of the person that we're going to choose. This student is extremely honest and forthright and prides herself on exceptional work ethic. She took on sound design freshman year and taught herself everything she could. She was completely self-motivated and waited for no one to hold her hand to get her started. She had big shoes to fill when the other sound person graduated and she became the sound queen, but she didn't just do that. This person, has the moxie and grit that no one else possesses. She has the best salesmanship ability as well. As a sophomore, she was not eligible to go to the nationals competition for thespian, and she took like 10 boxes of chocolate to sell in support of the other people just because she thought it was fun and would take the pressure off of other people in the troupe. When people would run from selling the entertainment books, this kid sold 10. Trick or treat so kids can eat, she made her own flyers, distributed them throughout the neighborhood, and went door to door asking for donations. She seizes every opportunity she can to learn all aspects of the industry. She has been actively involved all four years in both technical theater and performance, and not only in her class productions, but in the musical and in community theater. 
and in the sophomore show and the freshman show and every other show she can jump into. She jumps at the chance to be involved in everything. She jumped at the chance to be involved in a film shoot through school to careers. And in perfect style, her style, she went on set and ended up being upgraded from extra to a small role because she put herself out there and was unafraid to open herself up to the prospect. She was the technical director for Thespian and took on the role of mentor to the underclassmen, showing them what to do and teaching them their technical roles. Anyone who takes on this position will have huge shoes to fill. This year's recipient of the Golden Wrench Award is... Layla Myers! Congratulations, Layla! Love you, Layla. Oh no, now it's my turn to speak. Okay, hi. Um, all right, so it's time for the Sarah Fox Award, which we know is one of near and dear to my heart. Um, it's always a privilege to award a graduating senior with the Sarah Fox Award. It means so much to me because Sarah was an amazing student who left a huge impression on everyone she met. Her smile lit up the room, and she was best described as a sunflower, bright, cheerful, unassuming, and humble. So while this class makes it very challenging to choose one person for the category, when we began taking nominations for this award, this student seemed very naturally to fit the bill. They checked off so many boxes, kind, empathetic, and always grateful for every experience they were afforded. They too brighten up a room and consistently have been recognized by their peers for being a great team player. This student is generous and caring and has a lack of ego or an expectation of getting something in return. And while she may not be winning a Grammy for her breakout record anytime soon, uh, she did know exactly what we needed during tech week to make the day a little bit more fun and uh, she always was there to brighten people's spirits. Um, the person that she was double cast with had amazing feedback to say that she was great to share the stage with and she was an inspiration to see how hard she worked and how she rose to the occasion. This student has also overcome a lot of hurdles with grace and fierceness. From someone who was extremely nervous freshman year about appearing different to others, we have had such a privilege to watch her grow comfortable into her own, in her own skin and to eventually own her beauty and rock it. This person found their own style and began to realize that design was the area they wanted to go into. I'm sure nobody knows who this is by now. Um, and I am positive she will do amazing things to inspire and give others the confidence to make bold choices and to be authentically themselves. I could not be prouder to present the Sarah Fox Award for 2020 to Bianca Agnes. Congratulations, Bianca. And congratulations to all of our award recipients and to our entire class of 2020. Don't worry, Academy Awards is coming in some way, somehow, in the future. We'll all be together again to celebrate. But now, to our current Thespian Board to announce our Thespian Board for 2020-2021. Hello, my name is Layla Myers and I've been your technical director for the past two years. So today I am excited to announce that your new technical director for the year 2020 to 2021 will be Jessica Rhodes. Congrats. And assistant treasurer is Joey Adio. I am also pleased to announce that next year's assistant public relations officer is Lauren Shepard. Your next year's junior fundraiser is Allison Maslick. Congratulations. Hey guys, it's Jade, your current choreographer, and I'm honored to announce Olivia Miller as your assistant choreographer, alongside Julia Federica as your new thespian choreographer of 2020 through 2021. Good luck, guys. I love you. Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well. 
to cut right to the chase, the next thespian historian is Sydney Volpe. Congrats, Sydney. Hi, my name is Joe Morney, and I'm your current public relations for Thespian Troop 5480. And I am so excited to announce that next year's public relations will be Julia Bisignero. Hi, I'm Christine Onda, Thespian Troop 5480's current senior fundraiser. I am so excited to announce that next year's senior fundraiser will be Andrea Stewart. Congratulations! And your new thespian treasurer is Shannon McGonaghy. Hi, I'm Nikki Dorica. I'm the current thespian secretary, and next year's thespian secretary is Brooke Brabillis. Woo, congratulations. And your next vice president will be Jess Wise. Hi everyone. I am so excited to announce that next year's Troop 5480 president is Reese Pascarello. Congratulations to everyone and I am so excited to see what you all accomplish next year. Mwah.